Broski, what's up, man? Yo, it's good. Man, it's all about you. You the star of the year right now. I mean, the <laughs> pandemic for sure. For sure. You popped out of nowhere, like out uh, off the brick with the track star. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It just, it just like, it took off. It just, it just went crazy. Can you believe it? Uh, Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it just feel right. You know what I'm saying? It just feel right. But do you know what's so crazy? Because I, I believe in, you know, speaking everything into existence and, you know, going after the things that you, you know, talk about, right? Vision boards, all of that. This time mm. last year, how was you talking to yourself, like, to even get to where you are right now? This time last year, uh, well, matter of fact, yeah, this time last year, it, it, when, it, when we were talking, I thought, like, this is about to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This time last year, I was like, you know, work, 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 studio, studio, studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's like mm -hmm. put in the work. You know what I mean? I was just like, I was just believed in it. Uh, I was, I was at a phase this time last year, saying that, you know, I'm not gonna tell nobody what I got planned. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Do it. Exactly. Because the so, haters be waiting for you to say what you're gonna do. Yeah, for sure. And it's coming from a small town. I can imagine because we are we here in Baltimore. We're like, yeah, people from the city don't support this, that, and the third. But coming from a small town, that like up Alabama, right? Where, how mm -hmm. close is that to anything that we know about? <laughs> First of uh, all, uh, it's like a, it's like an hour thirty minutes from uh, like Montgomery. Okay, so coming right. from a small town like that, how was it getting out? Because getting out. Because people don't usually make it from places like that. You know, just a, you're the first. We ain't got no op Alabama's representing nowhere. So right. how did you how did you make it out? Because I know people, you're a new artist, and people have been asking you these questions. But we need to know for our listeners because, you know. I'm, I'm going to keep it a boat with you because, like, this this all happened, like, so so organically. Like, it was just, it was just nobody but God. Mm -hmm. Because from the moment I dropped Trackstar, it, it it just went crazy from that from that day. Like it yeah. never it never slowed down at all. It always doubled, 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 and tripled and tripled. Like from the day I dropped it, you know what I'm saying. So like it took off in my city first yeah. and stuff. Which, but like but like you know, um, the small towns so where really don't have much pool. But it took off in my city and and our surrounding cities right here. But um, after that, it took off in Miami. Yeah. You know so. You got flewed out. You got flewed yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, uh, we started going to Miami, like doing shows and stuff. Um, and then it just took over. It started taking over everywhere else because it, it was, excuse me, it was L.A. and Miami were the number two, uh, were like my, my number two cities. But you know, L.A. was closed down, so like it was no chance of going to L.A. Um, so we just went to Miami and and, and you know what I'm saying, um, started doing some groundwork over there. And then it just started to spread, you know, by the time we signed the deal, Capital got in and ran with it. Yeah. I, I'm not going to front, my dude. When I first heard the song, I thought you were Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, I definitely thought you were like Caribbean. <laughs> I, I, would, I never thought Alabama at all. No. Nah. Right. A lot, a lot of people say that. A lot of people say that. A lot of people thought I was from Miami. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh -huh. A lot of people thought I was Jamaican. A lot of people thought I was, you know, but... I mean, it was just my sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just my sound. I, I really didn't, like, I didn't try to make it sound. It's just how it came out. Like, to me, I never thought it was an island sound until <laughs> until everybody started saying it. And I was like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't I didn't realize I sounded like that, you know, because it's, it's just me listening to me. Right. And, and you know, um, your story is very interesting from the humble beginnings, starting in the church, you know. I'm wondering, like, Cause you know how you read the pressure it must be for you to have all this money, have all this success, and be coming from a place like where you come from. I always think about like people who win the lottery, like millions of dollars come from the hood and win the millions of dollars always been poor. It's like how are you dealing with that pressure so that you never have to go back to the beginnings? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, so so right now, I'm still trying to move. I'm still trying to move like nothing happened. Yeah, you know I, bet. I bet. Like, because it's just like, um, I want to do right with everything, with everything I got. But I just know, like right now, I haven't, I haven't done anything. I haven't made it anywhere yet. So I know it's like I still got to do a lot. So right now, I'm not in a position to where 
to where I could be giving people like like giving up so much of me, you know, to try to to try to, you know what I mean? Because it's just I, I got I'm going somewhere right now. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to get there. I'm trying to get there and then handle everything. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? Like right right now is just not the time because I don't have I don't have time for nothing but music right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and spending that money. Perfect. Like, no, we need to we need to save that money. It's a whole pandemic. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we ain't we ain't we ain't doing none of that. We ain't doing that. So so uh first big check, like what did you use for your first big check and what did that check? You ain't gotta tell me like how much it was, but like what was the you know first big check and you was like, damn, I'm in here, like what you use it for? Uh, I still really haven't done it. <laughs> okay, so you ain't paying no okay. bills. You ain't you ain't bought no how you ain't bought. I no mean, shadow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I, I've been like paying off my debt. Okay. Um, as far as that, yes, yes, Mooski. Great yeah, news, I, I, haven't, sir. I haven't really done anything. <laughs> but I'm I gotta keep it a book. No, never mind. I ain't gonna say that one. <laughs> what you get, get, yo? What? Tell me you got the 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 uh, Patek Philippe. Just to go ahead and say you got <laughs> it. No, 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 no. No. Nah. What you get your girl? Is that what it is? No, he you say broke what? up with a construct so she couldn't like keep her, you know. Oh, so you broke you had a girl, she, but you she, broke up with she her. Left him. She attracts <laughs> She said, Oh Lord, no. <laughs> Man, I, I know mean, them DMs. Hey yo, since you say you focus on your music, watch them DMs. I know they heavy right now. Oh uh, no, nah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, no, yeah, right. I mean, you know what I'm saying. We, I, ain't, you know, I ain't even worried about it. Oh, you act like you shy. Yeah, no, no, like no, 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 no. I just feel like I really, I really ain't, you know what I'm saying. I, I really ain't, ain't tripping too much. Right. So, Mooski, um, I know a lot of people ask you this about this, but I want our listeners to know that you went from the Marine Corps mm. to music. Like, talk about yeah. that transition, like. Because, I mean, that's a solid career path. You know what I'm saying? To give it up and, and take a risk on something like music, which is so iffy and so ne might not happen. Like, talk about that process. Like, the, the courage it takes to do something that wild. Because, you know, parents, like, they want you to go for what's stable, what's going to get you some coins for real. Music is all a right. gift. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, I mean, so when I came out of the Marine Corps, excuse me, when I came out of the Marine Corps, you know, uh, it was like one of those things. Like I was great at being a Marine. I was a great Marine. It was like, I, I feel like I was built for, I, like I'm built for the Marine Corps. You know what I'm saying? Because everything I was doing, like it just came to me easily. Like, you know, like they wanted me to stay in. When I told them I was doing music, I'm getting out to do music. They were like, man, you, you keep doing music, man. Like, I like we'll, we'll send you anywhere you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's like, I, I go talk to the monitor. I'll, you know, get your orders wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do. Keep you know what I'm saying? It. Right. Yeah, so but I told him, you know, I'm getting out to do music. I was like, I can't do music like I want to inside the Marine Corps. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so uh, the transition over, it was kind of, at first it was kind of, you know what I mean? Um, it's kind of new, but it's it's like the same thing, though. Mm -hmm. Besides all the crazy stuff that go on in the Marine Corps, I mean, it's, it's kind of the same. The structure is kind of like, have uh, the structure that was in the Marine Corps is kind of like the same thing here. I got stuff mm -hmm. to do. I wake up. And I got a whole schedule to, to make. And at the end of that, I can do whatever I want to. And then wake up and do it all over again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just You can do whatever you want to, but just make sure you're here at this time tomorrow. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it, it's kind of like the same setup. You know what I mean? Um, and right now, it's like I'm starting over in rank. Like right now, it's like I'm at the bottom again. Mm -hmm. like right, now, right, now, right now, I'm in the bottom in the music industry. Now I'm trying to get back up to where I was. I like that analogy. That 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 yeah. type of analogy, that type of thinking is going to be why you're not going to just be a, a one hit. You're going to keep going, especially if you have that mentality of just, you know, having that tunnel vision, knowing right. you got stuff on your plate, knowing you ain't made it here yet and trying to splurge and look out for everybody you didn't ever grew up with. That's going to be what's going to keep you around. I, I, I feel it. I appreciate it. Yeah, we just what trying to lock in it. You say what? Did you have any rank in the uh, he Marines? Was, he was a sergeant. Did you? Yeah, I was a sergeant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so track star popping on the internet, and I know, like, I know you're a big guy on social media, so I know you see like the renditions. You reposted a lot of them. Did mm. you, how you feel about the bad ones? Like, did <laughs> do you ever see the ones you're like, oh my god, why she do that or why he do that? Because like everybody nah. think. They got. They even got a spoof one where a guy getting locked up. You saw that mm. one. 
Well, he like yeah. he, he didn't make a way for. He got yeah, that hey, that that one was hard. That that one was hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I really, I really haven't. Um, you know, I, I really haven't looked at anything and like, dang, why did that? Yeah, I know like you see, so he gonna tell us. Mm-hmm. He gonna tell us. But you know what, though, Muski, I feel that because I've seen uh, like the Chloe one is really, really good. Like, she, well, she mm-hmm. she killed, well, she killed um Young Blue's track, but I also saw her do something with uh track star that I was like, okay, a little snippet, a little whatever. But I, I've been liking what we see on social media. We you got millions and millions of views. Everybody on it. The different renditions. I even heard you talking about um a Drake remix. Cause I can hear Drake on it for sure. Oh, word. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, like, uh, I mean, like, you know, Drake, one of those artists you always want, like, like you always want him to remix. You know what I mean? He's my favorite artist. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's definitely one of the artists you always want on, on the remix out the gate. So that's who you shooting your shot at? Did you jump in his DMs yet or? I mean, yeah, we 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 working, we working on it, we working on the remix. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He could already be on it. He could not oh, be on. Oh, right, right, right. We no, no. I'm, I'm late. I'm late. They already. He already signed the pay. He said, "Oh, the vocals came." <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, listen. Um, it's not even just about track star. Like track star is good, but you got a, another song that I like, the Game of Love joint. Bird. I I like it. I like where you going with it because I don't know, but I I'm still having a hard time classifying you. Are you a singer or a rapper? Like, what would you? What would you? Um, you know what I mean? Like, what what we putting you in? Both. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. The, the same, the same, the same, the same category. They put, they put like um Drake. They don't put no yeah, same category. They put Drake in. Man, put me in. Like we, I'm in there. We don't, you know we don't put Drake as no singer. Yeah, Drake, sing is more of a, Drake is more of a rapper that can sing. Not all, a all right, look, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm a singer. I'm a singer who can rap, and I'm all a singer right, who I'm can rap sing. Chris Brown then. Yeah, <laughs> he said, he said, "Are you Chris Brown?" Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's basically you know. I, I mean, I'm Mooski, man. You feel I, I'm I'm different, man. I'm just different. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate that though. I'm Be Mooski. Yeah, Mooski. Uh, where did this nickname come from? This is my last, like my last question. Like, where did the Mooski come from? Uh, since I was younger, my nickname. My so my nickname since I was like a day old has been Moo. Everybody Aww. calls me that. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, I just kind of put a little spin on it, um, or just put a little twist with it, like Mushi. Okay. All right. So you gave yourself the nickname or made yes. it up? Which, okay. Yeah, like so because I wanted, I wanted my, I wanted my, my artist name to be me. I wanted it to be my name, something yeah. I look up. You know, hey, you know what I'm saying? My name already Mumu, so Mushi is still my name. You get because some people call me Moo. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I look up to that. Like I look up when people call me. I look up like Mushi. Oh, you get what I'm saying? Because it's me. So I don't yeah. have to try to be I don't have to try to be anybody or change anything about myself to be Mooski because that's my name since I was little. And so back home, everybody still call you your people still call you Mumu. Yeah. Uh, everybody I everybody call me Mumu. No, nobody has ever called me by my first name. Yeah. Wow. Like I have never heard any of my siblings or anything call me there ever. Yeah. And and being as though your uh family grew up in the church, like you guys kind of came up in the church, does your uh, mom or your family members have an issue with your content because it's mostly about love and stuff like that. But you throw on a couple, you know, bad words here and there. Do they be tripping on it or? I mean, so I mean, my my mom, she she really can't she really can't hear or anything like that, um, with her situation. But I know if she like when she, like when she had her first show, she was listening to the music. But I, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like she was liking it because you know what I'm saying. Uh, because she did have that stroke, so I, I really okay. know. I, I really know if my if my mom if she was healthy, I I really feel like she she would have a problem with it. Okay. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sorry but, about your mom. Yeah, I sorry about, about your mom, mom. man. We we'll definitely be praying. Oh uh, no, yeah, for sure. I appreciate it. But yeah, like, um, it's like the healthy her. I know, I know she would have been like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. nah, I don't know, but she wouldn't be tripping like if I, you know, put in a. Now, put do in. you have those battles within yourself, like the the devil mooski here? And in the, in the angel moose because you come up in the church like I can't really say what I really want to say on this track. Or do you battle with those things yourself? No, nah, you know I I want to uh, cause this this how I feel. This how I feel. I feel I want to be real as possible. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like I don't want to be like 
okay, okay, I, you know, I got church backgrounds. So I don't want my, I don't want my auntie them to hear this. No, bro, right. I'm gonna put it up because at the end of the day, getting millions of people who are in the same boat as me and who who grew up like I did and who look at me as inspiration, that's gonna mean more to me. To that's gonna be more to me than my family telling me, "Hey, you're gonna say that in the song." Because yeah. at the end of the day, now now I got people who I'm touching. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? My music is my life, and life is a journey. I'm not an angel. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not a I'm not a devil either, though. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like I'm not perfect. I'm a human. I make mistakes, but I want to take people along the way with me. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Through the through the through the um through my good decisions and my bad. You know, I just want to I just want to put all of my life into my music. I want people to look at me like, okay, Muski is on his on his like he's a huge artist now, but he know how to level with people. Yeah. He's still a regular person. He still got he still got day to day issues like everybody else in the world. You get what I'm saying? I, I don't ever want to lose that. I don't ever want to lose that. Love it. Well, I love it, man. Yes. What can you say? You sound like you about forty five. I know you're only twenty. <laughs> grown, grown man, like a super grown man. So, but congratulations on everything. Fuck, you got something to add? You, we, we. I'm just, I just want to tell you, I'm happy for you, man. To come from where you come from, mm-hmm. to get the dream that you always dreamt, and you still got room for more dreams, bigger dreams. I hope God give you every blessing you deserve, brother. Yeah, I appreciate it, but much love. Yeah, man. So, we coming to Alabama. What are we gonna eat? We, I know. What's the? How many uh, restaurants are there? Two. About two, they got a probably like a waffle house. <laughs> I I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I eat chicken so much that I really don't even trip about everything else. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Me. I go to churches. I go to churches. Go to like hardest song. Maybe All right, those- bet. that's what we gonna eat then. <laughs> I see you when we get down there, brother. Yes, yeah. sir, for sure. Peace.